Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Overlord Season 4 Episode 7. In the last episode, uh, Ainz managed to successfully make the alliance between uh, the Sorcerer Kingdom and the Dwarven Kingdom. Um, he's going to go sort out the goddamn motherfuckers in the royal capital right now. Going to be light work. It's going to be great. Um, he believes that there is some kind of stronger being at, at force here because the two Death Knights were taken out. Uh, obviously that is not the case so it is, this is probably going to be a lot easier than he thinks it's going to be um, but obviously he's just kind of curious um, as to see if there is actually a player here which I understand um, really like the moments between uh, Ainz and Gondo in the last episode it's really cool to see Ainz kind of relight this this fire under everybody that kind of still does the older way of crafting uh, magical weapons and especially now with Ainz's resources too um, I think they're going to make, make really good progress on it but yeah really excited for this episode so as always guys if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well and uh, let's go into this episode right now what the hell is this boy well this is the mega whatever the names are called still gonna get slapped <laughs> these guys are gonna get slapped hard Dragons? I thought it was only one dragon. I mean, the fact that this guy can control a dragon, that's kind of crazy, right? Oh, damn. Big ass dragon. Bro, there's four dragons? Oh, so he's not really controlling them. He's just like, hey, here's a bit of gold. I know you guys love gold. Yeah, that's smart. Ten times? Where are they going to get that from? Oh, they got hella dragons? Not just these four? That's interesting. Why would you... Why would you recommend him if he's not going to come out? Is it a dragon or is it like a like a half like a half? Oh, it is. It's like a book dragon. This guy's funny. I can already tell he's gonna be uh, allies with Vines. <laughs> he tucks his glasses into his scales. That's funny. Oh shit, big man's coming. One of them, yeah. They are not bothered at all. Oh my god, he knew what was up straight away. Bro, that's smart. <laughs> if I knew the spell grass part and I knew what it was going to do to me, I'd be like, yeah, bro, I'm yours. Don't worry about it. <laughs> he just lets himself go, but... <laughs> oh, it's like a puppy. What was that, poison? Did it piss itself? Oh, no. Ankoromochimochi. <laughs> Shouts here. Do not. <laughs> Albedo would do it on a, a, in a harpy if he has. Oh, those are all his wives. Damn. Oh, that's nice of him. Your Majesty the Sorcerer King. <laughs> That's big talking to your dad like that. This witless? Damn, dragons are meant to be smart too. Did he just kill him? 
That was easy. Oh, wow, he's just doing it to save himself. That was easy as fuck. <laughs> I can't believe how fast he did that. <laughs> oh, he needs the uh, the book, doesn't he? Oh, what, it can open any door? Nice. That's hella gold! Holy shit. Well, it was worth coming down here. What is this? <laughs> you got this shot here. Yeah, and Ainz doesn't know this. <laughs> Once again, giving too much credit to Ainz. <laughs> God, these guys are freaking stupid, man. Bro, that is a lot of friggin' whatever they're called. Holy crap. He seems to have his head screwed on properly. He's not just going ballistic. Sixty thousand. Oh my god. Just halve the population. Take it down to thirty thousand. Bro. That is fucked up. It's not a very smart decision, but okay. This is exactly what they told you was going to happen. <laughs> Just a few more. Bruh. Uh, I doubt that. Oh, are these like the specialer ones? Oh shit, he did that knowing exactly what was gonna happen. Yo, we got hella dragons now, let's go. Oh look, another dragon corpse, nice. Bro, we I can't believe how quickly we dealt with this. Even Gondo's shocked. I mean, for the 50,000 price you've already paid, it's a pretty good opportunity to work under irons. Oh, he almost altered himself then. <laughs> he almost, almost admitted to a mistake right there. And then Shaltier comes in with this. I can't believe how perfect... They see him as. I probably I can't believe they were probably gone for like an hour or so. And save the whole capital. Wait, didn't Gondo say he doesn't drink? Oh yeah, that was one of the um trade deals, wasn't it? For the dwarfs, just loads of food and alcohol. Just how many steps ahead? Actually, he's about 10 steps behind, but go off. Oh my god, did he just say that out loud? <laughs> Bro, Ainz has got to be the luckiest fucking dude in the world, I swear. Is this master tactician fucking Demiurge doing his whole thing for him. <laughs> well, that was a very good episode. I'd like to say that battle was somewhat un underwhelming, but it was exactly what I was exposed to, expecting it to be. Just an absolute wipeout. Um, took out the, the biggest dragon in seconds. Kind of crazy, um, but what can you expect from Ainz? He's ridiculously overpowered. Very good episode. Um, I'm glad that we've got the dwarfs now. We've got a bunch of new dragons. 
um, this new dragon, Heimagil, Hi Hi what's his name, Heimagil, something like that. Um, I guess he'll be one of the more recurring characters of the dragons, just like Gondo is of the dwarfs, I would say. Um, but yeah, really cool episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. I was expecting more of a battle, but it is what it is. Took out 50,000 of the of the goddamn things I will never know the name of. And um, two dragons out of the 19. So we've gone 17 dragons, I think. Um, yeah, very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.